I didn't mean to kill you guys, but you guys were kind of being Can jerks. you believe that these thugs would just attack me in broad daylight like that? They... They might have killed me if you hadn't stepped in. Thank you. I never expected such help from a stranger. Ah, it's nothing. Actually, Lon sent me to help you. You spoke to Lan? How humiliating. My fiancé must have told you I can't protect myself. The woman I love doesn't have faith in me? Oh, the shame. I'll never live this down. She's just worried about you. Yes, y yes, you're right, of course. I suppose I can't fault Lan for being worried about me. I've taken some serious beatings lately. Yeah, you have. I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. I'm just worried about Lan. She's very emotional. I've done my best to try and keep her from becoming involved in this. Involved in what exactly? Those thugs are acting on Eiling's orders. She's the head of their gang. They have a small hideout in the boathouse. Eiling and I were friends when we were children, but we drifted apart as we grew up. She fell in with some rough people, well, as you've already seen. Ever since I got engaged, Eiling has become obsessed with me. Every day, she sends her thugs to beat me up. She says she won't stop until I go talk to her. So why don't you go talk to her? She's obviously crazy. I've done nothing to her. We haven't even spoken in years. If I go to her hideout to talk to her, I'm afraid that I'll never come out. Oh gosh. At least the beatings on the street are out in public. They won't kill me in front of witnesses. Well, not on purpose, anyway. Um... Maybe I could talk to... I get the feeling you're not telling me something. I'm being completely honest. I swear. I... I know how this looks. You must think I've done something to deserve this, but I have no idea why Eiling is after me. Okay, maybe I could talk to her for you. Thank you so much. Eiling and her thugs are in the boathouse. Please just ask her to leave me alone. All we want is to live our lives in peace. 512? Holy crap. The Beaten Baker. Hui the Brave. Speak with Hui in the tea house. Oh yeah, I have to do that. Find a new flyer. Great damn. The woman in black. Okay. Got all this stuff. Okay, we're going to go to the boathouse because I do want to finish the... Uh, can I go back up this way? Ooh, bamboo cask. Sealed gate. Don't want to go there yet. I'm going to go to boathouse. I think I'm going to go up the hill. And then I think I'll go talk to her in the tea house. Let's go inside this place. Maybe fight a little people. See what we can do. This here's a private club. Members only. Oh gosh, come on. Um, how do I become a member? You can't. Just move along. I need to speak to Eileen about Bay. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Go on in. They'll unlock the door for you. Are you serious? That's all it took? Wow. Okay, let's head inside. Oh, you're gonna save it. Something's gonna happen. Uh... Okay. Uh, is this a glitch? Oh, no, no, cancel. Let's uh, get this up a little bit. Yeah, we'll get all my health up. Uh, we don't want to do anything. Be careful there. in here. I don't relish the idea of fighting my way out of this place. Um,. That seems to have glitched me for some reason. Uh, let's load. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that was glitched. That was not cool, man. Oh, book stand. Where's where the heck's the book stand? Nope. Nope. Did not want to do that. 
I did kind of... Oh, I'm, I think I leveled up in the uh, other one. Yeah, I leveled up before. Uh, I'm not going to distribute it just yet. Where's the book stand? Be careful in here. Oh, there I don't relish the idea of fighting my way out of this place. Okay. Horse Lord Tactics. Unlike the ordered armies of the Jade Empire, the Horse Lords favor lightly armored units of horsemen who can move rapidly over the field of battle. Moving like a rushing tide, small groups of horsemen harry all angles of their opponent's flanks. Armed with bows, almost to a man, these mounted archers can rain destruction upon unprepared foes. While the Horse Lord tactics are surprisingly effective, their men lack the discipline of the Imperial Army. For all the damage they can inflict, the Horse Lord's forces have difficulty holding strategic locations. For now, the Jade Empire exists in an uneasy peace with the Horse Lords, leaving the savages to their arid lands north of the Seeds of Heaven province. Okay. Uh, that might be explained a little bit later. Um, so what's going on? I guess we're going to find out. So, I hear you helped out Baker Bay today. Gave my boys a bit of a lesson, didn't you? Of course I did. You'd think after all the beatings I gave them over the years, they'd be used to losing. But they're still taking it pretty hard. Maybe the humiliation will be good for them. Why are you picking on Bay? Everyone thinks that Bay and that little seamstress make such a nice couple. But Bay already promised to marry me. Uh-oh. He promised to marry you? I know what you're thinking. Why would Bay want to marry someone like me? I may not be a delicate little flower like Lon, but I don't want to run this gang forever. Someday I want a husband. Maybe a little house. Kids, too. Bay promised to give me all that. He promised to marry me, and now he's trying to weasel out of it. But a promise is a promise. I won't forget that, even if he tries to. Oh, what about the big guy? Um, let me bring Bay in here. Maybe we can work something out. Yeah, okay. If he has the guts to come here and face me, I'll talk to him. But I'm not going to let him weasel out of his promise. Okay. I'll go get Bay right now. Lan, what are you doing here? I figure we better get all the secrets out, Bay. If Lan's going to marry you, she should know what kind of man you really are. She said there was something I need to know, Bay. What's going on? What is she talking about? Eileen claims Bay promised to marry her. What? Bay, how could you? I didn't. It's a lie. I haven't spoken to her in years. Not since we were kids. Don't pretend like you don't remember, Bay. It was summer, and we were sitting on a little raft catching fish. I was upset because Li Shun had called me ugly. I was crying, so you took my hand and said, I think you're pretty, Ai Ling. And someday, when we're grown up, I'll marry you. Psycho! What? But that... That was years ago. We were kids. We were only six years old. Y you can't hold me to that. Seems like you're being a little unreasonable, Eileen. Kids say all kinds of things, Eileen. Remember when you took my frog and I called you a bully? You swore you'd never speak to me again. But that same day you gave me the frog back. You said you'd never, ever, ever do anything to make me unhappy. Kids always say things like that. It doesn't mean anything. It meant something to me, Bay. You were the only boy who didn't tease me, the only one I liked. You promised to marry me, and you're going to keep that promise. Um. Wait, Eileen, you said you'd never make Bay unhappy. Well, yes, I did say that. But that was when we were still friends. Now he pretends like he doesn't even know me. He's changed. But you changed too. Yes, but... Well... You're right. I know you're right. Bay's right. We were just kids. I guess... I guess I can't hold him to his promise. 
You win, Lon. Bay is yours. If I had more, I would gladly give it to you. But my family isn't rich. This dowry is all I have. Please, take it with my thanks.